Hi everybody, this is Lars Vermeer for Nukipedia, and welcome to volume 8 of our video series Useful Nukipedia Tools. Today's video is about the MM Color Target version 2.0 from Marco Maya. This is the link where you can find the MM Color Target on Nukipedia. The MM Color Target matches colors of two input images by using the Macbeth Color Checker. It outputs a color matrix node that does a close approximation from the source image to the target image's color values and vice versa. This tool and workflow is often used to neutralize the colors of a plate and a spherical HDR, but can of course be used in any scenario where footage from different cameras needs to be matched. If you neutralize both your plate and spherical HDR with this method, you are essentially calibrating and matching their colors, so that the spherical HDR that is used for image-based lighting in a 3D package should help to create a 3D rendered image with matching color values to your background plate. But to be able to use it, you have to install the Python module called NumPy, which can be a bit difficult if you are not a technical person. So let me show you how to do that on a Windows PC and a Mac. But just to be very clear, I'm not giving you any guarantee that this will work on your machine, since the installation of this Python module is always operating system dependent. That is why you have to install the NumPy version that is the right one for your operating system. So just keep in mind that you're installing NumPy at your own risk. The correct version of NumPy depends on the operating system, the Nuke C++ compiler version on that operating system, and Nuke's Python version. On a Windows PC, you just have to download the zip file, unzip the downloaded file, put the NumPy folder in your .nuke folder, then after restarting Nuke, the MM color target should work. This NumPy version should work on all Windows versions from Nuke 8 to 10. On a Mac it's a bit different. First you have to find the right NumPy installer for your Mac OS version. Here is a link to an installer for OS X 10.6 that you can download. I'm using OS X 10.10 and this installer worked for me too. After you have installed this package, you have to open up the terminal on your Mac, type in Python, hit enter, type in import numpy, hit enter again. Now if the terminal shows you these three signs, that means that you have numpy installed. You can now locate the numpy folder by typing in print numpy, hitting enter, copying the section, opening up the finder, then pressing shift command G, pasting the location into this field, and hitting enter. Now you can take the NumPy folder and put it into your .nuke folder. And then, after restarting Nuke, the MM color target should work on your Mac too. I hope this was helpful and works out for you. Usually it shouldn't be required to move installed libraries, but unfortunately, this is the easiest way to make the MM color target work on a Mac. Okay, now I'll show you two ways to use the MM color target in Nuke. In the first example, I'll show you how to neutralize your source image with just the MM color target. And in the second example, I'll show you how you can use a target image to do that. So here we have the color rendition chart from Victor Perez that I have reviewed in the previous video. And a photo of an X-Ride color checker classic. The first and easiest way to neutralize the colors of your image with just the MM color target is to connect your image to the source input, align these colors the right way with these corner pin like control points, enable the checkbox use reference color space values as target, and make sure that the correct color space for your neutralization is selected in the color space drop down. I will use sRGB in this example. And then you just have to click on calculate matrix, which will generate a color matrix node that matches the colors of your source color checker to the reference colors that the MM color target provides. Another way you can use this node is by using a target image, which could also be a photographed or filmed version of a Macbeth chart. So to match these two color checkers, you have to connect them to the node in the right order. That means your target input should be connected to your reference color checker, and the source input to the color checker you want to modify. And finally, you can click on Calculate Matrix, which again will generate a color matrix node. But this time it matches the colors of your source color checker to the colors of your target color checker. Of course, you could also try to do this manually, 
or with the match grade node which is available in Nuke X. But I believe that this is a very useful tool to neutralize your color checkers in Nuke. So thanks again to Mako Maya for sharing his tool with the Nukipedia community. Mako has also created a very helpful demo video in which he shows you how to use his tool. And this is the link to it. Alright, that's it for this episode. If you have any tool suggestions, just send an email to admin at nukipedia.com. Again, my name is Lars Vemir. Thanks for watching and goodbye everybody.